Hello Year 9 and welcome to your design technology lesson. Um, today we're going to be starting a new project and this project um, as you can see on the screen is iterative design uh, of personal transport. Okay so um, in our last project which was the earphone wrap we looked at the iterative process and we looked at what that is and just to recap it's basically process of ongoing feedback remember the circle that we created um, on the board and as you design something you evaluate it you get feedback and then you go back to design it and make improvements and that circle continues and that's what we mean by the iterative design process okay so um, let's have a look at what your challenge is um, by the way um, while I'm making these videos I've always got the videos first take um, so I'm, 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 I've got a hundred percent record so hopefully nothing goes wrong and this is gonna be a first take as well and even if it does go wrong I'm still gonna continue um, okay so let's have a look um, so the learning intention let's get rid of my head okay learning intention to identify and solve design problems so we're gonna obviously look at a problem and then we're gonna look at um, designing a solution for that problem which is what design technology engineers that's what uh, that's what we're all about so for you to be successful you're going to respond to the design brief generating a specification for a product and um, you're going to show through design that um, you understand the needs of the user because there's no point um, creating a design that's not even going to be any benefit to the user you might like it you might use it, but you're, um, you're designing it for a client, a user. Is it going to benefit them? Is it what they want? Um, and the last success um, point of the success criteria is to work iteratively, taking on board opinions of a partner as well as my own. So this is what we're talking about, the feedback. So you, at different stages, um, you're going to get feedback um, and you're going to use that feedback to possibly um, change the design if need be now just a little added note and um, when i said you get feedback at different stages remember you're the designer these stages you can put at any any stage and um, in fact you might plan stages to get feedback but while you're designing you might think okay i'm actually going to add a section where i need to ask and get some feedback for this um and you as a designer as a good designer you will do that Okay, so we looked at the learning intentions and the success criteria. So let's move on to the actual situation. So what is the situation here? Um, so the title, personal um, transport for the future. So something we're looking at um, futuristic, possibly. So let's go on to the situation. Um, as, as electric power powered vehicle technology becomes more and more affordable and compact, Young, young people aged 12 and 18 will become a target market for new and innovative and innovative see I told you I'm not going to cut that out innovative personal transport design let me just try that again innovative okay I always struggle with that word okay right um, because electric power vehicle you'd think it's normally for it's normally quite expensive um, and might be out of reach of those aged between 12 and 18. Um, I knew I'd jinx myself. Um, okay, um, yeah, so um, they might be out of reach because of the, uh, the cost of the actual product. But now because of technology becoming more and more um, affordable and compact, the market is slowly going, sliding towards the um, younger market between the ages of 12 and 18. So that opens up more products that we can use the technology for. Okay, so this is gonna be your first task. Um, we're looking at, again, I'll move my head again. We're looking at um, design brief. So you are to design a personal mode of transport, which could be the next big thing on the streets of the UK. Complete the design brief box below. So now using this um, situation, I'll go back, using this situation and the actual design brief here you are going to write a design brief of what you are going to do and your design brief doesn't have to be more than 
two sentences, could be three sentences, but no more. That's why it's called a brief. It means quick summary, a design brief. So what are you going to do? If you get stuck, go back to the situation, go back to this section here under the design brief, and that should help you understand what you need to do. Um, the keywords here, um, obviously a design uh, brief as a short statement to explain what problem, what problem is going to be solved by the designer. So design brief is what are you going to do? What problem are you going to solve? Okay, let's move on. You've done design briefs before, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now this section, we're, we're going to be looking at um, some products. So here you can see um, five products here, bicycle, motor scooter, Sinclair C5, which is another type of scooter, mobility scooter, and a Segway. So all these are transport um, products. Now, on the right here, you have a question and you need to answer it. So you're analyzing these products here. Um, it's really a brief, um, quick analysis. Um, we're just answering one question. How does each product help the user? So how does the bicycle help the user? How does the motor scooter help the user? So on and so forth. Okay, complete this section here. And once you've completed this section, you're to pick two of these products. I don't mind either one. And you're going to um, write down uh, advantage and disadvantage of them. So just to give you a quick one, um, what I would start off with, I would probably go with the bicycle. Um, and I would say advantage is, it could be cheaper because it hasn't got a motor. Um, disadvantages, um, well, they're not going to be as quick as a motor-powered um, uh, uh, scooter or bike. So that could be also just pick, pick one, uh, sorry, pick two, and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both of them and just write that down here. Okay, so on to the last slide of this lesson. So you don't have to go any further than uh, point six. So you're going to um, write down the reason, the main reason people need personal transport. So I want you to fill out um, the six points um, of investigation. Why do people need personal transport? Um, you can use uh, your own experience, your own views, and you can also search online to find out why people need personal transport. What do they use it for? Is it always for the same thing? Do they use it to travel to work? Do they use it to go to the shops? Do they use it for sports, for exercise? Um, what type of exercises are the different types of exercises they may use it for? Um, there's many reasons. Um, okay, so um, don't forget your target market is 12 to 18. That is your um, end user, your client. Okay, we've got the keywords just to help you understand the target market, is the intended user group, uh, which also informs research. So that means when you're doing research, when you're looking into, um, in, into the actual uh, reason why people might need personal transport or actual personal transport itself, you need to think about the target market and those involved in this, the client or the user, it's going to be people aged between 12 and 18 years old. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate contacting me. Do not move on to um, slide seven. That is not what I need you to do. Feel free to look through the slides just to give you an idea of the whole project. But all you will need to do is go on to up to slide six. So just to go through what you need to fill out again, um, you need to go on slide four, you need to fill out the design brief. Um, and slide five, you need to fill out this section here talking about um, how each product helps the user and then picking two uh, of these products and talking about the advantage and disadvantage of them. And then you're going to fill out this section here, the main reason people need transport, uh, personal transport. Once you've done that, um, you're finished what you need to do for the lesson. Okay, let me get my head back up on there. Okay, uh, thank you very much for listening. Um, and I will see you for your next lesson.